it's we're still at about 43% are, are um, have people have put deposits down for that many much 43% of the array has been sold. And there are some larger companies that are interested and they're trying to figure out whether it's going to work for them or not. And so uh, it could be that one company buys up a bunch. I think it seems like I said this last time I was here last month, but. Um, it seems a little more, I think the group was a little more optimistic this time. Yeah. It seemed to be more uh, larger entities given it some serious thought. So yeah. um, I think particularly Tom was, um, was positive. Yeah. But it's still, it's still a work in progress. Yeah, for sure. And uh, also some more people like from uh, Waitsfield have shown some interest. And so it's spreading out further than just um, the local towns here. So yep. hopefully the word will spread and people will get on it and that'll be great. Um, so the insulating window inserts, um, I had a meeting this morning or yesterday. Yeah, yesterday morning about that. And um, it's really exciting to be working with New Haven and Lincoln and Bristol together. Again, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Didn't I say this last meeting? <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, I'm excited about that. And I, th I think that it will be, you know, a really fun, uh, way to come together with those towns and people in those towns to work together on building inserts for each other's homes. I think that'll be really great. And the testimonies we've gotten have been really good. So the people who've done it with us a couple of years ago really appreciated their, uh, what, what it felt like in their house, much more comfortable and save some money. So, um, that, that project, kind of goes on through the summer where we're reaching out to people and then we go into people's homes and met, help them measure their windows and decide which ones to choose. And then Maine actually makes the frame uh, pieces and then we put them together here. So we actually don't have, people don't have to actually commit until um, early October, although Ideally, they do that earlier. When I, I can't remember, Sally. When are we doing the actual assembly? November 4th through okay. 9th okay. at Holly Hall. Yeah. Um, so we can go on, I guess, to the next one if no one has any questions. That is... Uh, the residential building energy standards. You know, Jim, maybe you know something about this, probably more than I do. Um, and there's also the commercial building energy standards. And I went to a webinar uh, this past early week or last week, and that was Efficiency Vermont and the department, of, it was actually the Department of Public Service that gave the webinar. And they talked about the different codes for building and for energy efficiency and how they, you know, changing over time so that we have a good housing stock and not, you know, a lot of leaky houses where it costs people a lot of money to pay for heat and that kind of thing. So I'm not sure how the town does it here. You know, there's Chris Purley probably has something to do with it as in zoning and then the town clerk probably does something because they're, they may be involved with filing the information. And I don't know what the energy committee has to do with it. I was hoping there'd be more energy committee people here so that I could ask someone to take that on <laughs> instead of uh, me do it. Just, you know, finding out how it works in Bristol. What should the energy committee be doing, if anything, to be involved in you know, making sure we're collecting the information from contractors or from the homeowner or whatever we're supposed to do. Jim, do you have any input on that? 
I have no idea. Who's your liaison with the select like board? Um, well, I don't even know if we have a specific liaison. How yeah, about that? Yeah, everybody was assigned. Everybody on the select board was assigned a liaison position. Uh, okay. No, Michelle is with planning. Uh, Ian, Ian has uh, fire and police. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pika has uh, road, road department. Mm, Joel has, uh, oh, he deals with the, uh, the county, county level planning. Yeah. You might give Valerie a call. I don't, I don't yeah. really think there was anybody involved in any of that. Chris Crowley may be the one to contact though. If anybody yeah. would know, it would be the zoning administrator. Yeah. Um, maybe it's Darla. I haven't talked to her, but she might be the one that's. I, I don't really know what her assignment is. It could be, yeah. I'll, I'll check. I'll look it up. I, it seems like I heard something about that and I forgot about it. So you, you, you should, we ought to know. Uh, I know planning planning is now, uh, as of le I believe it was last night, they're going to have regular dialogue with uh, Michelle Pearley concerning okay. what they do. And, right. and they, they had a, a meeting with the select board on Monday over Zoom. Uh, and what they are looking for is guidance as to what the select board wants the various commissions to do. And they, yep. they gave a, a little uh, dissertation on what they want uh, planning to do. Being that planning now has the town plan in, in place, that's all done. So now they want to see what, what objectives they have. And it boils down to the planning being uh, involved in uh, trying to promote uh, further business infrastructure in yep. town. So, yeah. you know, you, you might reach out to Valerie to see who is the liaison and see what you guys can do about it. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> um, Sally, was this a, was this a, you said there was a webinar. Yeah. Um, was this a state initiative? What, what, yeah, what Department, was of Public, Department of Public Service, maybe, maybe in, I think they, they did it and there was also, Efficiency Vermont is connected with them, you know, uh, and, but, but it was a department of public service. It was uh, a man from there speaking, Steve, someone, I believe, you know, and I can see if I can get it to you. And I have a, I have a phone number and stuff like that for connecting around it. So, uh, just wondering what the goals are. Um, okay, there's, there's some, the goals of the program are to create a more um, uh, weather and energy efficient housing stock I so see. that people have homes that are solid, they're not buying a house that is going to cost them so much money to heat and you know, it's just it's to up the um, the quality of homes, it's going to cost the contractor more and probably cost a little more for people to buy the home in the beginning, but um, then their, their costs are less over time, you know. Are these new builds or is there? New builds. Uh, only they new have, builds. Yeah, they actually have some, uh, some rules around remodeling and stuff like that. I'll see if I can um, find out, let's see. Let's see a little bit. Says. You can, well, to talk about it, you can call the Energy Code Assistance Center, I have a phone number, um, or go to the Department of Public Service. Also, you can go to the Efficiency Vermont website for more information. You could probably call Matt Sharp and ask him about it. Um, so but uh, what you could also. There's also going to be a recording for this, and I could probably get that to you at some point once it's sent to me. Yeah, I'd be curious to see it. Yeah. I went to another one of these with Brad Long from Efficiency Vermont a couple of years ago, and it was, it's, it's really detailed and it's very, you know, interesting and it's, it makes sense, it's, you know, so that when people buy a house, they know they're getting a house that is not, it's not holy, you know, it's, mm -hmm. It's, it's solidly built, it's sealed well, and all that. Okay. So I'll uh, write a note to send info to the, to the whole committee.
Um, Richard, did you have anything to add to the um, agenda, by the way? I didn't ask you that in the beginning. Um, no, no. That... Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so number four was just the Harvest Fest, which um, I went ahead and signed up for it when they first put it out so that we could get a good booth. And they were, there were so many less booths, so I figured I better just jump on it. So I did that in um, September 25th. And I think that that'll be um, a good opportunity to, you know, the usual things, whatever involved in it. Be great to have a thing there. So we don't have to talk anymore about that unless you have. I don't think we have to talk about it now. That, <laughs> we um, just know it's. We have a spot. Is that? Um, will that be a good time to um, advertise for window dressers? Or is that too late? Yes. So we will have hope. Well, we will have hopefully done all of all of that and gotten people measured and everything but there still will be time at that point because the deadline for ordering isn't until early October. So we'll, we'll still have a couple of weeks if we, you know, if people, if we want to tell people about it, if we still have room in the workshop mm -hmm. and if not, we can tell people about maybe next year or we can, we can tell them right. about it and just say it's already happening this year and check this information out and you know, next year. Another thing we can do is something around the Mo Electric, yeah. and the and you know whatever electrifying things, and lighting and all that kind of the usual stuff. Um, yeah. Hopefully, okay. Bristol Community Solar is already <laughs> buttoned up by then. I hope so. Yeah. So um, Mo Electric is on here. I I was just gonna ask people to, if anyone is using an electric mower or you know someone who is in there, you know, enjoying it, just, um, yeah. Uh, maybe write up a little something of a testimony that I could add to a uh, front porch forum thing, or you yourself could write something up and put it in front porch forum and just say what it's like for you using an electric mower, just to help people know that it's going on. I talked to um, a, a friend's grandson the other day on the phone about his use of an electric mower. He's so psyched to be. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, uh, he loves how quiet it is. He doesn't have to pull that thing, you know, to get it going. He's like, I can just do it. He's 10 years old, you know, he, so he can do it himself. And it's, this is, you know, it's just easier to work because it's not as heavy. Um, of course you can get a heavy one, but the one they got is not heavy. Um, anyway, yeah, I it's bought just fun a, to hear this. I bought an Ego um, to replace my Black & Decker. And, you know, the technology has really moved ahead. The Black & Decker um, battery packs were about this big. The ego is about this big, recharges in less than an hour. And um, wow. the machine is absolutely awesome. So I, I would bring that up. I would, mow right, I would mow right up the street to the Harvest Festival because I think, you know, people have had, probably if they've investigated <laughs> it, um, they've looked at Newton's and Black and & Deckers and things in the past. And these new generation are just, they're no, they're nothing like the old ones. It's amazing. Yeah, that's great. And I liked the old ones. I had, I yeah, used to too. use the Newton for 10 years. Yeah. Um, that's great. So um, that might be something to have um, at the Harvest Fest so people can take a peek at it. <laughs> Not I use a, it. Uh, I got a, um, also, re Place my Black and Decker string trimmer. Uh, oh, yeah. I can't remember Ryobi, I guess I bought, uh, and that thing, that thing is scary. Uh, <laughs> it's really amazing. But then I got seventy-five dollar rebate from Efficiency Vermont, so there's we ought to be presenting the rebates. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, that's true. I, I'd like to put, if that's not already on, it might be on the town website, but I should put it up on Front Porch Forum again, rebates. Yep. And boy, is it simple. You just fill out a one page thing online and a couple of weeks later, your money arrives. Great. Um, all right, we're getting right down there in the, uh, so six one is just about SEAC, which is Climate Economy Action Center of Addison County. And that is basically um, a group that is, is trying to uh, bring greenhouse gases down while also um, encouraging economic, um, what would you call it? Uh, economic activity you know, like, uh, and helping the economy be more, more green, you know, so it's not as detrust destructive to the um, earth, but it's still, you know, helping our communities survive and thrive. And they've got a lot of projects going on. The Live Green Vermont guide is uh, full of all these businesses that are uh, doing things. Um, so it's called the Champlain Valley Climate and Renewable Energy Guide at livegreenvermont.org. We, uh, we should talk that? it up. We should talk it up. Maybe yeah. put that on the front porch for them too. Yeah. Great. Um, do you have any uh, interest in putting a front porch form thing up, Richard, on something? Sure, sure. yeah, uh, I'll do that. Well, could be like, you know, the rebates and the electric stuff, because you could talk, you could mention your ego and your, um, <laughs> your ego, you could have mentioned your ego and, <laughs> and, um, and your trimmer, and then put up the incentives and say how easy it was, that, that might be, a nice thing to have on the front porch forum to let people know about. Yep. And then I could do the CEC because I'm on that board anyway and I can access the information. Yep. Excellent. There was, a piece on the, there was a piece on the news tonight and I've oh, blown off the name. Um, a um, Vermont farm has been named, um, been given a major National Environmental Award, uh, in part because of their uh, installation of a state-of-the-art uh, biodigester system, and also their overall okay. um, um, sustainability uh, ethic. And I'm wondering, uh, I'll, it's somebody we work with, with River, the Riverkeeper. Uh, it's one of the farmers that we've I uh, interacted oh. with. Um, okay. Anyway, what I'm wondering is if we would want to, at a future meeting, ask them to uh, come on and, and describe what they're doing. Uh, because it's That's really a great idea. It's really great. Um, <clears throat> we'll have to ask maybe, would Matt know who, who it is? Or yeah, who I'll check it out. Know? Yeah. I can go to the um, great. I can go to the um, the news website and probably pick it up there. Yeah. Where what where do you hear of it? What news? Yeah, it was or, on. I think it was on, on Channel Five, whatever that is. Okay. All right. I don't know. I don't even have a TV, so it's all yeah. yours. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll look into great. it. Great. That'll be exciting. It's not, it's not Goodrich because that's something, that's a different, that's not on our thing, I don't think, is it? No, I Goodrich don't think is, so. Yeah, okay. That sounds great. Well, I can't believe we're, we're like done with the agenda. Is there anything else? Jim, do you have any questions? <laughs> All right. Or Jim, Richard, do you have anything else? No, I don't think so. It's uh, 
Yeah. It's a very interesting time um, yeah. in terms of, you know, I think we're in a, in a, um, a tipping point one way or the other in terms of people's awareness and willing to yeah. really direct. And um, yes, I think the, sure. these two years are gonna be next year and a half are gonna be very interesting. Yeah. Hopefully we can all get along through, through the interestingness <laughs> mm -hmm. as well as possible. Well, Good question. <laughs> I did uh, have a conversation. I did have, to have a conversation at the uh, at the pharmacy yesterday. A number of people were talking about how lucky we are in Vermont that our citizens have stepped up, gotten vaccinated, and so on, and that we're where we are in terms of our our eighty percent. Yeah. And we all agreed that Vermont really should secede from the union. That I think the nation <laughs> of Vermont <laughs> makes the most sense. Yeah. <laughs> We're so lucky to be here. <laughs> yeah. We'd have to look into that pretty carefully before we put up the fence, I think. <laughs> or because that look, that's, uh, I think we're more connected than we we know <laughs> i don't know um be interesting yeah oh uh, yeah totally well i think we should um go ahead and close and call it the shortest meeting yet Even efficiency, with efficiency. <laughs> yes <laughs> well thanks for being here and uh see you next time yep